All right, so my slideshow is about a movie called Billy Madison, but change it up a little bit, Billy Matheson. So, some information about the movie. Billy's dad, Brian, owns a chain of hotels. He's a big tycoon, he's got, he's got lots going for him, lots of money, but he's getting old, so he's getting ready to retire. So, he's gonna hand the hotel down to Billy. But, his VP of his company, Eric Gordon, thinks that Billy's too stupid to have the hotels in his name. So he challenges Brian and says that he should get the hotels instead. So Brian reveals to Billy that he actually did not graduate high school. He paid off the teachers so that Billy could graduate. So Billy's challenge is he has to go back through each grade for two weeks so he can get his diploma and graduate and therefore inherit the hotels. Billy realizes he won't be able to finish this and he challenges Brian to a decathlon which is just 10 events of academic integrity. Here's a little video clip. Wizard, I ain't no loser. I was the king of this high school. Hundred friends, million parties. You guys are losers, not me. And that is where Brian agrees. Yeah. Hey, uh, I got fourth period. I'll shoot down and say hi to you guys. teacher know what she's talking about. His third grade teacher's name is Veronica Vaughn. So Billy's first three grades, kindergarten, first and second, went pretty good. He had his two weeks and he got out of there. But once he got to third grade, he met Veronica Vaughn and he's pretty attracted to her. So it made it pretty hard for him to focus in class. But it poses a question, we need to know if she should be teaching or not. We're going to have a closer look at why she wishing not be teaching. Take a look at these numbers. <laughs> it looks like she's teaching the kids prime numbers. She has the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 11 to open up. You're going to want to remember that. So first we need to define what a prime number is. The Oxford Dictionary defines a prime number as a whole number greater than 1 that cannot be exactly divisible by any whole number other than itself and 1. So by this definition, 1 is not a prime number because it only has one factor and it needs to have 2 a prime number according to that definition. So one's not a prime number. This is an example set of some prime numbers that she could have had written before. So she had the 3, 5, 7, 11, but she didn't have the 2, and she had the 1. There that is again. Pretty wrong. She's teaching these kids bad stuff. Mrs. Vaughn, why is 1 in the set? Where's number 2? Our first conclusion Mrs. Vaughn should have her life ruined. <laughs> she does not belong in a classroom. Our next question, was Billy a loser? Let me give you a little refresher here, just in case you forgot. Loser, I ain't no loser. I was the king of this high school. Hundred friends, million parties. You guys are losers, not me. So Billy's claim, Billy claimed to have 100 friends and to have attended 1 million parties in his high school career. Our question is, was Billy the king of the high school? With the film being produced in 1995 and Billy is 27, it is safe to assume he attended his first round of high school in 1982 to 1986. The average class size in the 80s ranged from 60 to 183 students. So to find the average class size, I added up the two bounds, so 16 and 183, and then I divided it by two to get the average, and then multiplied it by four. Wait, multiply the average of the two bounds by four to determine, yeah. So I added up 60 and 183, divided by two to find the class size of each grade, and multiplied it by four to have 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's that math. So the average number of kids in a high school in the 80s was 486. So our second, second conclusion is it is very possible Billy may have had 100 friends in high school. 
So he's not lying yet. The one million parties is where it gets gross. With the average high school year lasting around 36 weeks, this gives Billy 36 weekends to party. Assuming he partied every Friday and Saturday night, as Sunday is a day of worship. 36 weekends to party, multiplied by two nights to party, equals 76 potential nights of party. Add an extra 18 days to account for holiday, holiday breaks and days off, like Christmas break, Memorial Day, all that fun stuff. So by this logic, it is safe to say Billy partied 90 days every school year. 90 days of partying a year, multiplied by four years of high school, equals 360 total days of partying. From the day he started his freshman year to when he walked across the stage. With 24 hours in each day, Billy had 8,640 hours, or 518,000 minutes to party. We will give Billy the benefit of the doubt and assume he began partying at 12.01 a.m. on Friday morning and turned in for the night at 12 a.m. on Sunday morning. So really 48 hours of just straight going to parties. We want to give him a fair shot. With his initial claim of 1 million parties taken into consideration, we can test his claim. Four years times 72 weekend days plus 18 bonus days times 24 hours times 60 minutes gives us 518,400 party minutes in his high school career. So if we take 1 million parties divided by 518,400 minutes, we get 1.929 parties every minute. <laughs> so with Billy averaging 1.929 parties a minute, he would have had to attend a new party goal every 28.9 seconds. He would have had to walk into the party, take off his shoes, greet as many individuals as he could, put his shoes back on, and leave, all in under 28.9 seconds. But wait, all of the past calculations do not account for one thing, travel. Billy does not have the ability to teleport, so he would have needed to either walk, run, bike, or drive from party to party. As Billy would waste time getting in and out of the car, we're going to assume he ran from party to party. <laughs> In order, for Billy to, in order to give Billy a fair chance at validating his claim, we're going to assume all the parties he attended in a night were located on adjacent properties arranged in a straight line for optimal party consumption. How many parties would he need to attend in each two-day span? So if we take the rate of 1.929 parties per minute and multiply it by 60 minutes and then multiply it by 48 hours in two days, we get 277.778 parties every two days. With 0.778 houses not being possible, we must round up to 278 parties. So with this claim, Billy might be a little over a million parties. For Billy to succeed, he would have needed 278 houses to be arranged like those pictured. So 278 houses on adjacent properties in the same street in a row, which is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so our final results, Billy would have needed to attend 278 parties for 28.9 seconds each year, each, oh, that's wrong. No, for 28.9 seconds each, every weekend, in order to have attended 1 million parties in his high school career. The homes would have needed to be in a 278 house line on a single street. Billy would, have, Billy would have to sprint from party to party for 48 hours straight without sleep, every weekend, for an entire year, for four years. This simply would not have been possible then or even now. My third and final conclusion, Billy was a loser. <laughs> and a liar. Dang. That's it. Oh, I have a question. 